Hey, if you're headed to the airport anytime soon, you better pack a snack. And charge your phone because it's probably going to be a long wait. TSA, they cut their airport screening staff by 10%. And the pre-check program hasn't really caught on. Did you see this? Oh. World Cup champ and our Jersey girl, Carly Lloyd, tweeted out this pic recently, writing, let the travels begin. I should write a blog at PHL Airport. TSA pre-check line wrapped around the corner. And wow. if you've been through the Philly airport, you've probably seen this. But look at that. That's amazing. And that's pre-check. Okay, we're bringing in our travel expert, Mark Murphy. You're going to help us understand sure. why are we getting these long lines. I'm surprised to see that happening with pre-check. That's supposed to be shorter. Well, you know, pre-check pre is shorter, and it's half the time to get through pre-check versus getting through the regular screening lines because you don't take off your shoes, you don't take off your belt, you don't have to, you know, take out your easier. computer. It is fast. Problem is most people haven't signed up for it, which I don't understand. It's less than $20 a year. You do it once. It's good for five years. Then you can renew it online. Think about what you pay for airport checking bags it's less than the cost of a bag for the year and even if you only fly once or twice you need to do it especially with the summer travel months ahead it's gonna get crazy at the airports do you think that they're not advertising enough because that's part of the reason why we're having these long lines is because there's no one in the pre-check line except no. for that one picture people are lazy huh. they're just lazy you know what you got it to do pre-check you got to sign up then you have to schedule an interview at the airport and people get around to it at some point I have to do it because yeah, I'd lose my mind if I had to stand in those lines. For me, it's 20 minutes from the curb to the gate. For some other people, it's an hour and a half. So for 20 bucks, how much is your time worth? And then just schedule it, go down to the airport. It's a very quick interview process. They do a background check. You get your approval within a couple of weeks. You are rocking through the airport. So I would say starting now, between now and the end of May, get it done. Okay, thanks for telling us what we need to do then. But hey, I kind of, some people are blaming TSA for this one because sure. they say you shouldn't have cut all those employees before you figured out if pre-check was going to work. Isn't that part of the problem too? Yeah, so in 2012, they rolled out pre-check. They expect to have about 25 million people in it today. There's less than 10 million. Ooh. And in anticipation of that, Congress cut funding. That funding resulted in some layoffs, but we're not talking big layoffs. The problem I have with TSA is when I get there and there's a person standing, stand, and you know, take out your laptop, to do this, do that, whatever. And every other country I go to, you know what they do? They put a freaking sign there. And then you read the sign, you follow the directions. You don't need somebody yelling the same thing over and over again. And if you need that, put it on a record and just well, keep yeah. looping it. That's true. So use those resources to do the screening. And in particular, in Terminal B and C in Philadelphia, create more lanes. That's what I was going to say, Mark. It's tight. When you go up there and you're waiting that long line, and you see that there's two ones, two open lanes that aren't even being used while you're waiting in line. Right. Uh, yeah. But, but really crazy. quickly, before yeah. we go go on, because we're about they're about to wrap us up. So how long do you think, since you're saying, well, we're hoping people will sign up for pre-check. In the meantime, people are getting ready for their summer plans, late spring travels. How early should we be getting to the airport then? It's always a gamble trying to figure out how long that line is going to be. Russian roulette. So I would tell you, get there two hours beforehand for a domestic really? flight. Really? Is two it hours. back to that? Two, two hours. hours? And here's the thing. At the airports, they're like malls now, so you can get there early, no stress, grab a bite to eat, pick up some snacks for the plane. because that god awful airline food, right? Yeah. And do that. And then, you know what, if you got a little extra time because you got through fast, you hit the you know the lottery and you got through, then just do some shopping, hang out, bring I a guess. present for your grandkids, whatever. You know, I guess you could people watch. Yeah, lower it, your stress. It, you know, and is around. it when we're booking flights too, is it good to you know, Monday mornings are always busy. What are the busy days at PHL, so, you think? Friday. Think of it as rush hour, right? Okay. So Mondays, don't fly out Monday morning, don't fly back Friday night. Go midweek, look at a midday departure, or fly out typically on a Saturday is a better day than a Sunday because they got a lot of people returning back from wherever they went for the weekend on a Sunday. So Saturdays, Wednesday, Thursday, you're in good shape. Midday. Midday. Okay. All right, thank you so much, Mark Murphy. We appreciate the heads up. Now, right. we did reach out to the Philadelphia International Airport spokeswoman, Mary Flannery, and she told us that wait times now vary depending on the time of day, and they work with airlines and the TSA to help passengers get through security. The TSA has said the agency is relocating 28 of its 142 K-9 teams to the 20 busiest airports, but they haven't said which ones. We're not sure if they're coming to Philly then. They say they lose about 100 screeners weekly, but try to offset that by training 200 screeners each week week. But it probably is a good idea to sign up for pre-check. Just saying. All right, 811.